KSW 69 live from Warsaw. You had to be there to believe it. What a card, what an outing we had tonight. I'm the Sensei Will Vanders, he's the guru Chris Hookstra, and that's the Polish experiment, Mr. Krzysztof Szyzinski. Now, Mr. Szyzinski, you said tonight was the wildest card you've ever seen in MMA. <laughs> it was definitely one of the best cards I have ever witnessed, and I've been traveling around the world, I've watched so many, been a part of so many. This was by far one of my favorites, top, top, top. Well, you heard it here first, and I have to say, it really was top high level and also you've got to be aware we had debutants tonight we had young players come in and that's what makes KSW relevant and what makes KSW fresh the introduction of new talent and boy did they perform tonight we saw such high level work well listen we can't take you through everything because you know we'd love to but we'd be here all night what we're going to do is we're going to start with a lively first bout and that was between two stand-up kickboxers what well, it ended really quickly it did, yeah. Lubos Leszak and Wojciech Kazieczko. We knew we were going to stand, and there were some incredible trades. It seemed to me like Leszak was really planted, looking to deliver power, but boy, did Kazieczko come back. Look at the combination on the finish. Yeah, very nice job by Kazieczko, just keeping his distance. There's that lead hook right there. Then he's going for the finish with that uppercut right there. Reps jumps in. Beautiful job. Yeah, it was a clean finish, and, uh, you know, again, Two brothers on the cards, Kajeskos. They put in a performance tonight. But listen, we're going to go further up, and the ladies, what a clash that was. It went the distance. They really put in a shift, these two. And uh, it really was high level boxing. It was, yeah. Sarah Lazar Smyach and uh, Natalia Bachinska. It wasn't a fight that I thought was going to play out on the feet. I didn't see that coming. And I really love seeing surprises like that. Both look good, but by the end. Yeah, Sarah takes the win, right? Um, such such beautiful quality from both ladies. Clean punches, clean strikes, nice movement. You know, Sarah with her back and forth head movement, uh, throwing that lead lead hook uh, that she throws. Bachinska's coming back in with her side. A beautiful, beautiful job by both ladies. Yeah, well, I said at the time, such high quality boxing you'd be struggling to see in a professional boxing bout. It really was top quality stuff. And, uh, you know, well, it was very close and it was a tough night for the judges in that bout, wasn't it? Because they had to call it, but it was very tight. But Smeich took the win. We move further up the card and we have a look at a fight that was so exciting. And uh, really one of my favorite fighters, Robert Ruchawa, the smiling assassin. He took on the Italian exciting Michelo Michele. Baero. And uh, look at this guy go to work here. He came with a lot of promise and uh, a lot of threat for Ruhawa. He did. You know, Bayano talked a lot of smack. He said Ruhawa wasn't exciting. Ruhawa doesn't want to come forward. He doesn't want to fight. But right from the word of the get go, Ruhawa stamped some ascendancy. I love the kickboxing. More importantly, we got to see some great grappling. Ruhawa swapped it up part of the way through the fight. It wasn't for want of trying from Bayano, but Ruhawa just very dominant by the end of three rounds. Some great action here, Kristoff. No, absolutely. Uh, Ruhawa's the future. That's This is exactly what, what this fight showcases, is his skill sets in all the aspects of MMA. At 23 years old, to be able to do what he does with his skills, with his reach, with his distance, and just, just, just having fun on top of that is always smiling in there and having a great time. As you can see right here, just the sequences that he's been put together back and forth between these two. Amazing job by both of them. Ruhawa with the win. Beautiful, beautiful work. Yeah. Big test coming up. At all stages, Bayano threw up a threat, didn't he? There was many occasions where we thought that, wow, Ruhala just needs to have a care. But he was calm, he was controlled, and he saw it all the way through. And, uh, you know, he took the win. It was convincing against, again, fresh, fresh talent, new talent coming in. I mean, I said, you know, where's Bayano been all my MMA life? This guy is exciting and dangerous. Well, the big, big, big matchup there for the bigger boys, Pavluk and Kejni. Yeah, it was interesting, you know, we knew that Pavel Pavlak and, and Cesare Kenchik were vying to try to be the top-ranked middleweights in Poland, and it all came down to this fight. I didn't know what to expect entirely as far as strategy, but Kenchik walked with confidence tonight. He looked the more evolved fighter, perhaps the more skillful fighter compared to the previous fight, and going out there and causing some problems. Uh, Pavel Pavlik, I thought, did win the first round. There's some good handiwork, but maybe not enough busy work that we would have normally seen from him. Kenshik came back, in my opinion, won the second that left it all to play for in the third. 
Yeah, such a close fight. You mean, um, you know, two guys in their prime, number four versus number five in KSW, high level. Both of these guys had a chance at a title shot coming soon. Uh, it showcased the highest level in the middleweight division in the Polish MMA. Super exciting fight. Pavlak won. I had it at Kenshik, but it was super close. You know, split decision win for Pavlak. Props to him and props to Kenshik for just the way he's matured uh, in his career, in his MMA career. Yeah, it was another tough night for the judges with that, wasn't it? Absolutely. Like the Smite uh, encounter. Well, the top of the card, it was the title defense from Sebastian Sherbish. The champion, we knew, had to put in a performance against a late comer. He was a late replacement and... Uh, Whoa, the problems that he caused tonight, unbelievable. And uh, the champion made a recovery that was like Lazarus. It was incredible. I mean, we didn't know what to expect. Even Sebastian Pjerbich didn't know what to expect in this fight. Where Alyssa Martins came in on two weeks notice, Zuriko Jojua was out, and both guys went in and threw down. I mean, the incredible performances from both. Uh, skills everywhere. I have Pjerbich looking solid, testing the waters early in the first round. But the chase was on in the second. Look at that spinning back fist. And here, just cracking Martins with a gorgeous left hand, dropping Martins in the second. It seemed to be only going one way, but Christoph, by the third round, there was a shift in the wind. I was calling it Shibish with the win in the third round, and boom, all of a sudden that happens. <laughs> Out of nowhere, Martins levels Shibish, goes for the ground and pound. Seemed like he almost got tired in that third, uh, in that, in that third round, uh, and, and then Shibish got on top dominated the rest of the way and then from then on it was basically Pshibish with Martins looking like he's you know gassed out only taking a fight on two weeks notice Pshibish gets the uh, hooks in gets the rear naked choke for the win I, I don't know but this right here this fight showed me what true fighter's heart is all about not only from Pshibish but from Martins as well taking a fight on two weeks notice going to, you know, into the fifth round with the champ and dropping him like that getting dropped twice in this fight I hope we get to see it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sherbish definitely put in a champion's performance and showed a true champion's heart. I mean, you know, that was a tough, tough opponent. He comes from Manaus in Brazil. It's right in the center of the Amazon. And he came tonight to try and deliver some payload for the champion. But the champion wasn't letting him in and it wasn't letting that door open to give Martins a chance. Listen, it really, really was a sensational card and a sensational night. Night. I'm blown away by the talent that's coming to KSW and so fresh. What you need to do is check your listings, look at all your social media, because KSW 70 is coming up. That's in Vuch, 28th of the 5th. Till then, I've been the Sensei. I'm the Guru. Krzysztof Zazinski. The Polish Experiment. We are the KSW International Commentary Team. Till the next time, take care of yourselves. Us. 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 Thank you.